going to explain you now how to use the gommage for very sensitive skin. And it's very important the gommage to be used properly. The gommage will not irritate the skin if it's used the right way. It's very important to be very gentle and to exfoliate until it gets dry. I will show you different ways. Whatever way it's easier for you, that will be fine. Um, the gommage, you can put it on your hand, add few drops of water, and then apply all over the face and massage it gentle. Or in the shower, before taking a shower, wet your face, apply the gommage on the face, mix it on the face, and afterwards gentle massage all over. Or another way, in a bowl, add a little bit gommage, then water, few drops, start with few drops of water, and mix it into a paste. Mm, it's oatmeal, whole oatmeal, so it smells delicious. We don't put any perfume in the product because perfumes are irritating the skin or no essential oils or extracts of herbs because those are so irritating the skin. You mix it until it gets into a paste and then gentle apply all over the face. So this can be done over the sink or in the shower before you're taking a shower. If you don't have a spatula, you can use a teaspoon or a fork, whatever you have, or just with your fingers. So whatever it's easy for you, you can use it in the... Um, whatever you have in the kitchen. If you want to be more elegant, you always can use the bowl and as well as the spatula. So after you apply all over, you don't have to be that even, but try to be as even as you can. And Gentle, don't be rough. It's very important, especially for a very sensitive skin. will be very important, really gentle to massage. So to be firm, but gentle. Don't rub it harsh. If you rub it harsh on the skin, then it will irritate the skin. The gommage will not irritate the skin if it's gentle apply and gentle massage. So. Uh, also, it's very important not to stretch the skin, so hold it between two fingers with the other two fingertips, more like padding and rubbing, massaging gentle around this area as well. And sometime an eczema condition or a sachea condition will uh, appear also on the eyelids or on the eyebrows or on the scalp. So you can apply the gommage on those areas as well and especially around the eyes be extremely gentle and massage a little bit not until it gets dry. So the reason to really massage gentle until it gets dry because we'll mix with the dead cells and will come off. the dead cells are coming off with the gommage you'll see an immediately result afterwards, the skin will be with no irritation or a lot less irritated. So very important though, this uh, to use two or three times a week or even more often. You can use as often as every day, will not irritate the skin and actually will improve the skin condition. So as you can see, I'm not stretching the skin. So hold around on the forehead like this 
and then this shape on the nose in this area very important because in this area a lot of dead cells accumulate and also the blackheads so will help with the blackheads as well and then in this area like this so as you can see it start flaking it off so it start flakes off so continue as you can see it's coming off everything So afterwards, gentle, very important, again, do not rub. So uh, take the water, moisten the gommage all over, and gently wash it off. The water should be room temperature or cooler, but never hot. So never put hot water directly on the face because it's causing irritation. So now gentle. Get the water, moisten the gamash, and then with a lot of water, a lot of water, wash it off. After you remove the gommage, the face looks all smooth, less red, or the red disappear completely, all glowing and really, really smooth with no dead cells on the top. So really your skin looks a lot different.